Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion. We'll be unboxing and taking an overview of the EVGA classified GeForce GTX 590. This is EVGA's flagship design, denoted by the classified edition. As you can see, it's not in the normal box that you're used to seeing with an EVGA card. They have taken special precautions for the card and also spent a little bit of extra money to ensure that when you get your product, it will be safe, it will be intact. If we open the box, we'll see that it's very, very well insulated. And there are also a few options that come with this that the user might enjoy. You get a limited edition EVGA mouse pad that has the classified edition GTX 590 and of course the EVGA logo. You're also going to be receiving an EVGA t-shirt. The back has the classified logo also. And a gaming poster. Now, as I said, this board does come very well protected. As you can see when I lift it up, it is foam encased. Your accessories that were on the top are on top with foam encasement. Then when we get down to the actual package which contains the video card and its accessories, we'll first see the driver disc and an installation manual. After that, we can go to some more accessories. You'll have two PCIe adapters. It goes from two six pins to one eight pin. Coming down into further accessories, this is a HDMI to a mini display port adapter, a DVI to HDMI, and a VGA to DVI. As you can see there are two panels there that look like they might encase a video card. The reason why EVGA has done this is just in case you want to order a second video card with your package, they have the option to keep the same packaging and put another video card in it. Even if it's not a GTX 590, they can put a second video card in this packaging. On this side, we have our video card. Of course, the anti-static and the attention placard, and the video card itself. We open up the video card, of course it's in an anti-static bag. And here we have it. We'll take off the protective sticker and get a closer look at the EVGA GTX 590 classified video card. It's got a black encasement, EVGA classified, GeForce GTX 590, the fan is in the center. We flip it over, we can also see that the GTX 590 classification with the GeForce logo. You will need two 8-pin connectors in order to power this card. Also what EVGA has done is they've kind of put a different backing. This is not the regular NVIDIA reference backing. They put their own backing, of course, it said, and they put the EVGA logo and the GTX 590 denomination on it. It is a PCIe 2.0 video card. And if we can take a look over here towards the back, you notice the vapor chambers. 
This card has two vapor chambers. It is a dual GPU card. So you have a vapor chamber on this side, vapor cha chamber, of course, towards the front. Two slot cooling solution blows from the center out through. If we look at the front of the card, you'll notice they have one, two, three DVI connectors. You also have a mini display port connector on this video card. With this video card, you could actually run 3D surround or NVIDIA 2D surround without the need for a second graphics card. As you look at the card, I'll go over some of the specifications and features of the card. The core clock is set to 630 megahertz. The memory clock is 3456 megahertz. The shader clock is 1260 megahertz. And there are 1024 CUDA cores. Being a dual GPU setup with dual GTX 580s, there are 512 CUDA cores in each GPU. For the requirements on the card, you're going to need a minimum of a 700 watt power supply. You will need to be PCIe 2.0 compliant. You will be required to have two 8-pin power connectors and run, be running Windows 7, XP, or Vista. Of course, you're going to get the Special Edition Collector's Box, the EVGA T-shirt, the EVGA mouse pad, and the poster. You will also get a Special Edition software package that comes with EVGA Precision Tool, built for the Classified Edition, and EVGA OC Scanner, amongst others. So everyone, this has been our unboxing and quick overview of the EVGA Classified GeForce GTX 590. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.